early here today, so we're going to get started early here. Perfect. Our first matchup will be, once again, the same teams. We're doing a best of five series, Triple L versus Victorious Secret. First matchup will be on Water Hazard, a very balanced map, pretty much any strategy works on water hazard, short range, long range, mid range, sideways range, it doesn't matter. You make it you make it happen and you can win in this match in, on this map. Okay, uh, now I want to see sideways range because that's sideways like range. Yes, uh, yes that please. that involves manning of aft guns. Oh, manning of aft guns. Oh, yes. okay, okay. You have to man the aft guns to do that. Mm. Uh-huh. You have to learn to do that. Yes. That's that's where you do uh Yes, that's where you do uh, VAS and uh, you 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 uh, voice calm like a pro. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm not good at that either. Uh, you get the, you get there. That's <laughs> there hey, are a lot of things that, I'm not good at. That's hey, listen. That's you why you, all this of is them. this is I'm, for those of you wondering. I'm actually helping Petri Kish uh, learn about the SES community as she gets a taste of it from both sides, from the streaming side and in in the matches. Speaking of matches, here we go with the ship callouts. Ship number one, the Poodle Moth. It is piloted by Mirwin. We have a Watcher Fish with side Gatling and a Carronade. Ship number two is the GFA Flying Flounder. It's piloted by Captain Scrobeard. A Hades Mobula with double Artemis on the bottom. You have a Gatling and a Flak on the wings. Ship number three is the Helios, piloted by Dark Knight. We have a Hades Mobula, double Artemi on the bottom, a Gatling, and a Flare on the wings. Ship number four, the Big Borner, the, the Big Borner, excuse me, piloted by Solidus Bucket, is a Gap Mortar Metamidian with side Banshee and a Flare Gun. All right, as we see both teams kind of going towards the middle, looks like they're not going to waste any time here as we, of course, reposition the camera to show everybody where everybody's at. We'll take a look at the map. They are not too far off. Spots started to go out. Haiti started to go out as our first shots of SCS number 171 are underway. All of them missing, though, except for a couple of stray shots. All right. So, of course, we've got the two Mobulas going at it. Both are mid-range Mobulas with the Hades. And, of course, the Big Borner and the Poodle Moth running those short-range builds. You've got that Watch of Fish and you've got that Gap Mortar Meta Midian here. Poodle Moth gets me spotted. Poodle Moth yet to be spotted, but trust me, they know where they're at. That's why that's why uh, the the Big Border is staying back. Just because they can't spot does not mean they don't know where they're at, as we'll look at the GFA Flying Flounder right now, as they are minus a Hades and an Artemis. Yeah, they're actually getting picked apart by the Helios. GFA, GFA Flying Flounder realizing, mm, don't like this, we're losing this, uh, we're losing this 1v1 right now. It might force the Poodle Moth in, and there's the Huacha coming out from the Poodle Moth. Uh, it goes wild, but... Oh, there's a hull break on the GFA Flying Flounder. Uh, they are losing some permahull right here. Uh, they're down about... Well, actually, not much. Just about 5-10%. Just a scratch on the paint job. No big deal. That hull, that hull side engineer doing a good job. Uh, problem, though, those guns are not doing a good job. That Helios is absolutely tearing into the GFA Flying Flounder. Big Warner just happy to stay back right now and help protect their ally... Uh, oh, I spoke too soon. Big Border moving in on the GFA Flying Flounder. Poodle Moth moving in aggressively for the Big Border. And it looks like they're going to try to take out some engines. And it looks like that might have been a heavy clip watcher. The Flying Flounder is hole broken. Oh, they're approaching some environment here. This could get really bad. This could be perfect for the Big Border. Oh, they're approaching environment. Yeah, that mortar should finish it. That mortar indeed. Is that the kill? No, the Helios picks it up with the Hades. Big Border now moving underneath the Poodle Moth. They're trying to make sure they don't get watched on their way out. Poodle Moth now trying to head for cover, and they do get cover. Their armor is just fine. No permahole damage on them. First kill to blue. First blood advantage, of course, very important. That means if there is a tie at the end of regulation, uh, and if there is an overtime, if there's a tie after that, well, then that means that the winner is blue because blue got first blood. That's the tiebreaker. Scribbles notes furiously. Yes, Scribbles notes furiously. As Petrie is learning about some things here, and we hope to see her in future broadcasts. Um, of course, you might you might stream SCS in the future. I don't know. I mean, this is kind of why we're here, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll see. You know what? Maybe we'll see Petrie at some point. That's why she's getting experience in SCS on both sides. Uh, right now, you are... Uh, refresh my memory. Which team are you on right now? Uh... Currently is Drunk Driving Simulator. Drunk Driving Simulator. So, uh, as an extended sub, correct? Uh, yes, I'm extended sub. Moment. Perfect. So, hopefully you'll get a few more matches here. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, Dolores. Triple threat, triple threat. <laughs> uh, listen, this is not about uh, a Resolute yeah, Blue team right now. This is about SCS. No. As uh, GFA right. Flying Flounder has the back of the Helios. And Helios is in a bit of trouble right now. Helios is uh, caught between the Poodle Moth and the Flying Flounder. Big Border moving in on the GFA Flying Flounder. They they just kind of hydro up. Actually, that's a stamina race. Excuse me? Poodle Moth destroying the Helios, though. My goodness, that was quick, that was fast, that was efficient, and that was brutal. 1-1, one, one, all tied up. Meanwhile, the Big Border moving in on the GFA Flying Flounder. Uh, looks like they've got a hull break on the Flying Flounder. Those mortars going in. Will they pick up the 1v2? Yes, they will. Poodle Moth not able to save their ally. They were too committed to the kill, so it's a trade right there. Big Border will take that all day long. Burst Watch going out, not picking up any engines. No, they do pick up one. It's a Metamidia for a reason. It is Metamidian for a reason. That's why the mortar's on there. Uh-huh. The mortar will kill very quickly, but you gotta get close. And it's a slow-moving projectile, so it can be very... It can... It, it's it's a bit of a catch-22. Oh, now they do pick up all the engines on the Big Warner. Uh, that Watcha, the Heavy Clip Watcha, picking up the engines of the Big Warner. Helios, however, back in play. So is Red's Mobula, GFA Flying Thunder. Poodle Moth realizing this. They need to back up, and they do. They are backing up behind environment. They are shielded from the Big Borner, but the Big Borner can't do anything at this range. They really just need to hide from the Helios, and the Helios deciding they don't care about the Poodle Moth now. They're going for the GFA Flying Flounder. So we'll move the camera over here. We'll look at this from the perspective of the blue side as Helios putting shots out on the Flying Flounder. Big Borner getting that Gatling out on the Poodle Moth. They are at about four and change right there on the Poodle Moth, so they are definitely within range. Helios looking to put some shots out there. Let's actually look at the Helios. As they are putting shots out on the GFA Flying Flounder. They're doing okay. They've only got those wing guns down. Looks like they have no interest in bringing those up right now. As there's a hole break on the Flying Flounder. They get that armor back up very quickly though. Helios just absolutely pounding the Flying Flounder. That's a hole break right there. Artemi missing though. Uh, Helios almost Come double broken. Oh, the there's a double break on the Helios. Yes, that is. That is 60% permahull coming off the Helios. The follow-up Hades, that armor's still not back up. Now it is. That double break proving crucial right there. Poodle Moth moving in very aggressively on the Helios. And there's a ram right there. Will the follow-up ram happen? No, Helios gets just out of the way. But that stamina watch picks it up. 2-2 all tied up. Big Warner moving in on the Poodle Moth. They get the hull break on the Poodle Moth. Oh, mortar's going uh -oh. in. That's 60, 70, 80. 70, let's call it 75% perma. Actually, no, let's call it 80. 80% 80 perma. Big Border moving in on the GFA Flying Thunder. Getting very aggressive right now. They're going to try to uh, take out that Artemis on the Flying Thunder. Looks like Flying Thunder only has one gun down right now. The Hades inside, inside arming time. That might not matter. No, it won't. The Flying Thunder still takes him out. It is 3 to 2 in favor of Triple L. Victoria's Secret uh, uh, trying to take advantage of the arming time of the Flying Flounder, but could not do it. Poodle Moth worse for wear, though. They're down to about 20% perma. Flying Flounder at about 75. Blue about to be factory fresh. Would not be surprised to see this go 4-3 or 4-4 in the first matchup. Would not be surprised at all. Blue respawns. Let's take a look at the Helios here. Of course, we have... Uh, we have... Uh, a plethora of names on both sides. A lot of Skyborne on blue this week. And uh, Helios looking to put shots out onto the Flying Founder. Heavy Clip Watch going out onto the Helios. That's going to miss, but at this point, probably not a big deal. You can reload before the Big Borner comes in, especially now that they're spotted. They know exactly where they are. No problem at all. Hades going out onto the Flying Founder. That's going to miss. Now, the question right now is going to be, what's the Metamidian going to do? Because the Metamidian is really the one that's carrying for blue right now. Helios not doing a good job so far. Big Border needs to consider getting aggressive because they're losing at mid-range. The 1v1 between the Mobulas, it has been all flying flounder all day so far. But it looks like they're trying to do something here is the Helios. Helios starting to do something here. Not doing great, but they're starting to put something out there. It looks like they might get a hole break here. Might get a hole break. No, not quite. Why? Oh, the fire takes it. No, the Artemis takes the hull break. Artemis takes the hull break. Flying Flounder's in big trouble right now. They're down to about 40% perma. Both uh -oh. red ships low right now. 
Huacha going out onto the Helios. It's going to force Putumoth in, which forces the Big Border in. Big Border looking to take out the Putumoth. Flying Thunder's hole broken. No, they get it back up. And this should be a kill on the Flying Thunder. That should take him out. Yeah. Yes, it does. That is a kill right there. Big Border with the Mortar picks it up. It is 3-3 oh. all tied up. Put them off with no nearby cover, unfortunately. They're running for it, looks like. Yeah, they're running. They have to, and they have to pick up those front guns of the Big Borner. They do so indeed. They do pick up the front guns of the Big Borner. That's going to buy them some time, but it might be it might be futile. The Poodlemoth trying to run, trying to juke, trying to evade as best as they can. Let's check to see what they have. They've got Hydro, Caro, and Claw on that pilot wheel. Poodlemoth looking to go under the Helios. They will get under the Helios. They will get... They will be able to juke. It looks like they will be able to fully juke uh, Blue here. Poodlemoth might actually be able to survive. Good job by the pilot. They might escape here. Uh, it's just going to be a question of whether or not they can turn the corner before the hull break. They should be able to. Yes, they will turn the corner. Poodlemoth survives. Flying Flounder back in the equation. They're going to put shots onto the Helios. Haiti shots going out with half the match gone by. Tied up at three. Red with first blood. Oh, excuse me. Blue with first blood. My bad. Correct. Uh, Big Borner moving on the Flying Flounder. Poodlemoth got shoved out way far away. The Wild Burst Watcher looking to pick up something, anything. Flying Flounder is going to go down here. That could be a midair curb stomp. That is going to be a midair curb stomp. That is indeed 4-3. to three. Blue one kill away from winning this matchup. Poodlemoth back to the situation they're just in a second ago. Yeah, they are. No, no cover and two on one. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a Hydra from the Big Borner? No. Uh, it might have been. Might not have been as they're burning, they burning Moonshine right now. Big Warner? Think so. The pilot forgot to take <laughs> off the moonshine. Uh, like might not matter, though. No, it won't. Blue wins 5-3. to three. So that means that Victorious Secret will take the first matchup in this best of five. Uh, we will be right back, folks, with more Sunday Community Skirmish number 171 action. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back. <laughs> 